Greetings, everyone, and welcome to R. Kelly Appeal TV, where we discuss the topics relating to Robert Sylvester Kelly, where he's at in his stages of uh, trial and what's going on. Everyone knows that we're still waiting on the post-trial motions from prosecution, and I haven't seen anything on the docket as of yet. So hopefully something will show up. Um, I don't know what happens if they have to get another extension if Jennifer Bonjean will have to submit her post-trial rebuttal on December 20th or 21st. It's all dependent upon that. So welcome, welcome. Hope all is well. As I told you, uh, this Sunday, December 18th, I was going to be very busy, but I was going to put a premiere up and I haven't done one of these in a very long time. I normally go live and uh, so it's going to be a different flow tonight. Um, so please don't forget to put your information in the chat. I probably will be listening along with you guys and um, responding via chat. So how is everybody doing today? I hope everyone is fine and you know it's moving towards the middle of the end of the year so that's a very powerful thing so you know today i'm talking about universal message or goal card set number three belief in self and we are on the fifth card in the in the set and we're talking about vibration we're talking about the very thing that we learned in science in the fifth and sixth grade when we looked at vibrational study um, and vibration is everything it's energy, it's power, it's the very thing that attracts other people to us. It's the very thing that, you know, sets a creation of image in our thoughts of what we um, even fear, what we fear, what we expect in our lives. So take, for instance, the example of fear. The atoms that we create through the concepts of our thoughts creates the real life experience in the physical realm. And so like in the case of Robert Sylvester Kelly, I do believe that there were areas of doubt, areas of fear it, that, that made him feel sometimes as though things were going to go down a path that he may not have wanted because what other people had said about him, had thought about him, had written about him and sometimes you know those things get planted in our in our psyche and when the vibration of negative energy that is spoken of us is penetrated through our thoughts it becomes hard for us to ignore and then sometimes that ignorance or of not knowing that we create everything in our existence becomes well while they're talking about me so then low self-esteem comes in they're saying this about me once again you know you can look at him in the example of the gail king interview and you could see him you know he's trying to stand tall but he's shrugged over he's feeling that sense of somehow people have really 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 tainted this situation for him so when we hit that physical grounding area, what we have to do is ground ourselves. You know, the things we think about in the middle of the night are the very things that's going to manifest in our lives. And, you know, um, if, if we say, um, for instance, we're going to be a millionaire, if, if we believe that strong enough and we go to bed with that thought and we plant the seed in our mind, eventually we'd go down the path of millionaire status. So you start to act as a millionaire, you start to reflect the lifestyle of a millionaire, and then you eventually become that. Before you know it, it's in your bank account, and you don't even understand how it got there. See, these are the, 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 the realms of believing in yourself, believing in ourselves through a vibrational practice. So if we vibrate, I had a person tell me, well, you know, I have all these ailments, I have all these, you know, um, these fears, these phobias, and like I said, their are phobias and their fears because you believe that they are, but you're not a doctor. So how could you have um, prescribed yourself with all of these ailments 
other than number one, victimology, you want to be a victim because you feel that you can empower yourself stronger that way because people will protect you. They will support you. They will help assist you. Or two, you just have very, very, very low self-esteem. Mm -hmm. So as this self-esteem builds itself, the consciousness is then telling us what we want to know, what we want to feel about who we are. So if we're sick, we create the sickness. We create the illusion of sickness. And then before you know it, especially if we manifest that upon ourselves, oh, I'm not feeling well. And then the next thing you know, you literally, because you wanted to take off work or school or you didn't want to, you know, uh, uh, engage yourself with this uh, upcoming event or engagement, then you start to really and truly live out that manifest because everything we speak it has to be lived out right so it's very very mindful to be cautious of the things that we speak over our lives the people in which we are affiliated and associated with someone told me they're never going to be a leader they're always going to be a nobody well then you become that you really and truly become that and as i tell people you know, you are what you say it is. You know, you are the God of your existence of speech. So when you speak that into the existence, then I sit back and watch it manifest for you. And I can't expect stronger manifestation for anyone other than the person. They have to feel strong enough about who they are going to be in order to make this true in order to make life work for them. And then you have the opposition, because you know, in the belief in self-suit, you have a high number and you have, now from five and on, you have positive positives. So it doesn't go from the lower vibration. And now we understand that we believe in who we are. We accept the value of the knowledge in which we possess as being ours and ours alone. We are accountable for the ideas that we put forth, for the fears that we have, for the strengths that we have in our life. And then from there, what happens is we become holistically remedied. So we begin to eat better, get up and motivate ourselves to move to even when we don't feel like it. We do that because these are holistic remedies that we must now pay attention to psychologically as to what's being drawn to us. So if you look at Robert Sylvester Kelly during the time where he was really and truly believing in himself, had gotten over all of the stigma of all of the, because think about it, Kelly Nation, think about being titled a pedophile, a pervert, and going through society and still making music, still living, still existing, still doing tours, still making music. But yet in the dark times of your life, when you do have those down times, do you think that that would play a significant part in a de in defeating the self-confidence of Robert? I believe it did. I believe that it really and truly digested within him some form of, I can't believe these people, no matter what I do, no matter how great I try to be, no matter how strong I try to stay committed to my motivated, you know, mentality, they still have something to say. They still have something to say. So we have to holistically pay attention to what is being drawn to us. We have to research how to handle right then and there. Robert should have went and started Googling how to, you know, um, connect to higher vibration after being, you know, defeated in self-confidence. He should have got him a counselor. He should have been able to get the treatment that he needed to even deal with the psychological aspects of what people had already said about him in 2008 that he actually won. Because even though he won, did he really, did he really let everything go mentally from the seeds that were planted psychologically through liars, manipulators, narcissistic individuals who were just trying to be money-grubbing uh, individuals. 
See, and holistically, we have to do that research and we have to meditate. So in those quiet times, I don't believe that Robert really had the opportunity to stay within himself and work that out internally. I think he's doing it now. I really and truly do. And I think that that's why everything is coming to a true experience for him. Um, and then it's that that makes it powerful, that makes it in tune with him. Um, he started using, he started seeing the side effects of his, you know, behaviors that had been diagnosed from other individuals and, you know, things. And they started, the side effects started taking place. You can understand by constantly, you know, smoking to deteriorate the sound of his vocals. You know, I mean, there's not too much that we can do when we're smoking every day and our vocal is the instrument. It's kind of like putting... Uh, Walter Beasley putting his saxophone underwater every night and then expecting it to really, really play um, verbatim as he's he hears it in his head. Or Najee, you know, putting his trumpet underneath, uh, you know, in the river and then not doing what he needs to do to clean it out and make it make it functioning. Or a drummer, okay? Um, Queen Pocket, okay, imagine her, and you know, when she's doing her, her uh, covers, um, imagine her with all of her instruments completely out of tune, but she's still doing her thing, you know what I mean? So I saw that in Robert, and I know that that was a significant, um, a significant area that we needed to pay attention to with him as we saw his confidence declining, you know, and then drinking because then when we drink, what happens? A lot of times our side effects happen. We do have side effects after drinking alcohol and to drink it every single day. We're not as pure and clean thinking as we would be if we did not have that ailment. I know because I was an alcoholic and it took, it takes everything. Even sometimes when I think about, you know, especially around this time, I went out to shop with my friend this morning and she got her some eggnog and the eggnog said Southern Comfort. It um, automatically made me feel that warm, fuzzy, cozy feeling that suffer Southern Comfort used to create in me. And I was about to say suffer suffer comfort it it created suffering even though in my egoic state or my state of the side effect i literally thought that i was vibrating in comfort but i was suffering in that southern comfort okay so this is a time where a lot of people will use that opportunity to be how can i put it to suffer because they're trying to mask the need of something else through the relationship of something other than that something else. And, and so understanding the timeline of processing is a very big vital point of holistic remedies because you can go in and you can use uh, elixirs that you create from natural remedies to give you that feeling of, you know, just opening up your pineal gland. And we'll talk about that, opening up the Kundalini rise, talking about, you know, going higher and aligning ourselves with the very source that we walk with every single day. So, but that's coming up later. Um, I don't know if it's in a belief in self suit or if it's actually in the next um, set of universal messaging cards. Um, but then, you know, you look at these holistic remnants and while you're writing about your emotional thoughts, reflecting Robert Sylvester Kelly at this time, was he processing his timeline correctly? Or was this something that he may not have even known he was doing? 
because consciously and subconsciously, we don't really truly pay attention to it until we, we've opened up ourselves to the university of our internal state. Other than that, we're walking around just like, you know, real great people, God, gods and goddesses, and literally we are blinded. Just like in the beginning of the Bible, it says there was darkness and form. There, there, there was no form. And God said, let there be. So that shows that we have to show first and foremost that we can speak into existence the things that we want. Let there be and it became. So then he's able, God was able to create the things that he needed in his world. And that's what we have to do when we vibrate. When we vi vibrate these thoughts, because remember, in vibration, it is the creation of images that we put into our psyche that makes us believe the experience is truly real. And if we are thinking positively um, to become a millionaire, to become a successful person, to get things accomplished, to motivate ourselves to be the best that we can be, to start small businesses, to do whatever, work as a healthcare professional, work as a high school teacher, a kindergarten teacher, whatever our dreams and goals are, guess what? We're going to be able to manifest that. All we got to do is vibrate towards it. Start hanging out with some teachers. See if that's really and truly what seed you want to plant in your psyche to whereas before you know it, you can go volunteer and put yourself in the teacher's position. See if that's something that you would like to do. And if it is, go to school. That's how easy it is. Most of the time we can easily get uh, loans and, and grants to go to school to do what our passion plants the seed for us to do. So, so, so again, it's what we're teaching our God, goddess vibration to believe about us that enables belief in self to go beyond the physical into the realms of existing outside of that uh, physical existence. And that's what Robert is doing. Incarcerated right now, he's going beyond his physical states. If he's really, truly getting himself together, that's exactly what he's doing. Because the midpoint is where the focus lies. And it's asking is Robert awake? I had to ask myself at the time of my own incarcerated state, am I awake? Whenever we're going through the psychological aspects of change and transition that is unhealthy, that is, we're unaware, we're grateful because we're awake. See, without me being and knowing psychologically that I was in an incarcerated state, I never would have been able to help myself pull myself out of that state and into the existence of what I know today. This is where I choose to be. And so, so um, the midpoint is energy, energy checking. Check that energy. Are we awake? Are we still asleep? Are we grounding ourselves? Are we doing the maintenance checks? Are we shielding our energy from foreign aspects? From women who are just walking around in the area of um, winning his 2008 uh, trial. If he was awake, Kelly Nation. Robert Sylvester Kelly would have been able to see straight through Geronda Pace. She was pacing around. From now on, I want you to pay attention to the names, the words, the subliminal attacks upon the definition of people who we report for him. You know, Bon Jean, what is that name? What does it reflect? What does it represent? I see bonnet. I see a beautiful, beautiful bonnet. I see, uh, you know, how a, a lady walks in her jeans and her stilettos and her nice hair, just like she did when she was in the trials with him. That's exactly what I see. But then I also see the spiritual end of what Bonjean represents to him. 
and it is a lot of paperwork. You got to go through those jeans. You got to go through the bonnet. You have to see the woman for the internal purpose of who she really is. So, so, so those maintenance checks, it's going to shield us. It's going to shield us from those foreign energies. So when we are around someone who makes us jittery, who makes us emotional, who makes us feel that uneasiness, you know, and sometimes it, I get that emotion when I am around gentlemen who may make me feel something other than the professional relationship of doing what I need to do. Now, if I'm in a professional field and I'm in that energy and I'm in that environment, I can be with the same exact gentleman, but it's it, the, the shift and the transition will be totally different. Do you know what I'm saying, Kelly Nation? So, so these foreign energies, they penetrate our vibration and that makes us feel how we do. So look at the memory that we remember of things that we've experienced in our past. That's what Robert Sylvester Kelly should be doing right now, doing the ultimate internal check in and check up on his memory focus, on what made him who he was, what made him decide that this was something that was going to protect him. Like with me, I began to do research and I found that sage cleanses territory. So if there is a, once, you know, I go, ba I focus on the moon phase. So I do a lot of things on moon cycle. So when there's a new energy surrounding my um, time of cycle for the month, I'm going to do certain rituals in my home. I'm going to cleanse. I'm going to um, put stones in areas to penetrate where the sun is coming in to give the energy to the house to continue to hold its walls up for me because all that's vibration. I mean, to continue to bring love into my realm. If I put a rose quartz on my dashboard in my car, show that love. If I use my adventuring stone, show my love to, you know, the adventures, you know, these are all energy sources that come very strong within our our way of vibrating through the belief in self so i hope that kelly nation you're getting an understanding of what i'm saying and because this is a pre-recorded i won't go on too long um because there's no you know communication <laughs> back and forth so what i will do is i will say i will be back on uh very soon because i'm going to focus more uh, this year on continuing to get the universal messaging oracle system out to you so we can always have these conversations so we can build the belief in ourselves. So we've gone from stability, which is being stable within the mental aspects of our lives and of what we believe and what we feel through intuition from birth into the realms of enforcement. Now we're putting on the ego. We're putting on the whole armor of what benefits us, the manipulative cycles of what benefits us when we need to do and be something else that we're not. Um, and then it moves into the belief in self where you can take those, you know, misconceptions. You can take those misconceptions and decide that no, I really don't want to believe that about myself. I know I'm not a cruel, angry person, even though I know I have been brought up in angry experiences and situations. How about I flip that around and say, I'm going to be the best me that I can and get the counseling I need for anger, such as I did, and, and made sure that I continue to work on it. Yes, there are times I am human. I will be prone to error and make mistakes, but it should not be on a regular basis. And that's where the belief in self comes in. Now, I would like you to join me for belief in self suit number um, three, part number six of the Universal Messaging Oracle System. And I will be back on on Tuesday. Um, the, let me see, what date will Tuesday be? I mean, because this time is moving really, really fast. The 20th 
I'm going to start putting more um, continual videos out live um, because I want to keep going. I'm going to be, you know, able to be free this this time. So we're going to talk about the eye of consciousness. We're going to talk about higher thinking and and the hippocampus, you know, now we're getting into what I mean about the pineal gland, the kundalini rise when we become the god goddess of our decisions. And then we really are able to say, let there be and it becomes. So we're going to talk about that in our next segment. But Robert Sylvester Kelly, um, I looked on the court docket and um, everything is still at a standstill. And um, I feel, let me see, everything is, yeah. Mm-hmm. Everything is still just sitting there. So I will see. Yeah, there's not, not too much that's being said at this point. We're just still waiting for um, the concept of the new trial or judgment of acquittal. I think it's going to be something. Something is happening. And in this happening, I'm going to tell you, I believe that there is going to be some changes, some shifts, some um, dimensions of, of, of uh, revisiting what took place for Robert and trying to make sure that he is understood. Um, because, yeah, everyone else has had their years not year, not day, not week, not month. They're years of understanding and getting their their say out. Mm -hmm. So now is that time for Robert to get his say out. And that's what the appeal process is all about. So thank you so much for liking, commenting, sharing, subscribing to this podcast. As always, keep it 100. And we will see you Tuesday. And you have a blessed, wonderful, empowering, wonderful day. Peace and blessings.